Dinner time. It's time for dinner. Please come to the dining room and take your seats. I'm going to the kitchen to bring the food to the dining room table. Ice. We also have fried chicken and glazed ham, corn on the cob, and vegetable salad. Mmm, everything looks and smells terrific. You cooked an awesome meal this evening, Stella. Thanks, Emily. Now let's eat before the food gets cold. Bon appetit. Would you like some more rice, Liam? No, thanks. But could I have another piece of bread? Of course. Do you want white or brown? White, please. Here you go. Could you pass the salt, Jason? Sure, Dad. Here you go. Do you want the pepper, too? No, thanks. Just the salt. Can I have some more water, please? Do you want still or sparkling? I prefer sparkling water. It's very refreshing. I hope you still have room for dessert. I baked a delicious cherry cake. And there's also ice cream. We always have room for dessert. Sounds good. You're spoiling us with all these treats, Stella. And here is some fresh fruit. There are bananas, apples, grapes, and strawberries for you. The cake looks fantastic, and it tastes even better. Did you make it yourself? I did. It's my grandma's recipe and our family's favorite cake. My grandma used to make this cake for all family gatherings. Is it easy to make? Yes, it's very easy. I can give you the recipe if you like. Yes, I'd love that. Thanks. Would anybody like some more ice cream? No, but I'd love some more fruit. Is there any left? Yes, there are some grapes and strawberries on the plate. Please, help yourself. Do you want some help with the washing up, Stella? No, of course not. You're our guests. Besides, we have a dishwasher. So it's just loading and unloading. It's really no hard work at all. Thank you for this lovely evening. We enjoyed it a lot. You went above and beyond to make us feel welcome in your home, and I truly appreciate it. I'm glad you enjoyed the evening with us. We had a very nice time in your company, too. There's water everywhere. I finished cleaning the backyard. How about you? Are you ready? My parents will be here in a few hours. Yeah, everything looks good. I'm sure we'll be able to make a good impression. Listen, can you hear something dripping? Yes, where is it coming from? I'm not sure. I need to locate the source. Oh no, there's water everywhere. There's a leak coming through here. But what happened? I don't know if there's just a really old pipe that's just given in or something. Yeah, there must be a burst pipe up there somewhere. It's flooding the house. It's a stained ceiling now and a little bit smelly, isn't it? Yes, it is. And we've only been in this house for a few days. The whole floor is a swimming pool. We must turn the power off. We need to let the landlord come and fix this. Oh no, as if that weren't enough, the door came off the hinges when I tried to open it. Can you reattach it? Let me see. It seems that the hinges are broken, so the best solution may be to replace them. The doorbell is ringing. That can't be your parents. They're too early. Typical. They couldn't have chosen a worse moment to show up. House repairs. Clydesdale Construction. Good morning. Is that Mr. Davidson? Speaking. How can I help you? I have quite a few things which need fixing in my house, and I wonder whether you'd be able to do the work. I'm sure I'd be able to help, but let me take down a few details first. What's your name, please? 
It's Sarah Benson. Okay, and what's your address? It's 432 Woodward Avenue. And what's your phone number? 0811-2255. Now, what would you like me to do? We have several cabinets in the kitchen that need some fixing and painting. Can stained cabinets be painted? Sure, they can be painted with basically any color that you prefer. Do you also need the walls painted? Yes, we do. We also have a kitchen sink, which is divided, that needs to be replaced with a single bowl sink. I need more space for washing large items like pots, baking pans, and breadboard. Okay, noted. Anything else that you need done? Yes, my garage door stopped working three days ago. It beeps three times but won't open with either remote, the keypad, or the button on the wall. And also, I need a garage window removed and replaced. Is it okay if I come to your place around 4 p.m. to look over things with you? Of course. It's perfect. I'll be waiting for you. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Have a nice day. Where should I put the new plant? Where should I put the new plant? Put it on the plant stand on that empty spot. It doesn't fit there. It's too big. Don't you see? Oh, you're right. I didn't realize that. That I think it would look nice behind the coffee table. No way. You can hardly see it there. That's not a good idea. Let's better put it between the bookshelf and the armchair. What do you say? It would look nice there, but it won't get the correct amount of sunlight in that spot. It's a bit too dark there, I'm afraid. Hmm. Yes, I guess it needs more sunlight. How about on the right side of the TV stand? No, better put it in the corner by the window. That place actually gets the perfect amount of sunlight. It'll grow well over there. You're right. That's the perfect spot. We've been married for 50 years. How long have you two been married? We've been married for 50 years. 50 years? Wow, that's such a long time. I just don't know where it's all gone. 50 years have just flown by. How did you two meet? We met on a bus. I went out with a few friends and was on my way back home. We immediately exchanged looks when I entered the bus and we both felt that something was in the air. I sat down next to him and he started off with some small talk. The conversation became more and more engaging and we found out that we had a lot in common. Two days later, we had our first date. We were both 17 at the time. I asked her to marry me when we were 19 years old. He's so loyal. He's the only boyfriend I've ever had, and he's the only man I've ever loved. I have loved her since day one. I love her personality. She is just fantastic. How romantic. And where did you live? Right here in this house. We bought it soon after we got married. Wow, so you've never lived anywhere else? No, we've always lived around here. Time goes so fast. When you're first married, a year seems a long time. But then you have kids. The kids grow up and suddenly they've left home. Was that difficult when it was just the two of you? Only in the beginning, but we got used to it. We always find lots of things to do together. 
Do you ever argue about anything? Sure, we have arguments, but then we say sorry. What do you think is the secret of a good marriage? The secret of a good marriage is to communicate with each other well, and we have always done that. Yes, we discuss whatever is going on, good or bad. What are you cooking? Mmm, smells delicious, Emily. What are you cooking? Something special for dinner tonight. So, what is it? Come on, tell me. It's ground beef with mixed vegetables. Sounds yummy. Just tell me what's in it. Well, there are onions and garlic. Mmm, I love all dishes with garlic. There is also soy sauce, wine, and mixed vegetables. They are all cut into small pieces and fried together. It seems like a very healthy dish with all those vegetables. What are you doing now? I'm adding some chili powder to make it a little spicy. Great! I love spicy food. Okay, now I'm frying the meat, and then I'm going to add the vegetables and the sauce. Now, we cook it for a little while. Okay. And now, the very, very special extra thing, the black bean sauce. It will give everything a wonderful flavor. It's really delicious. Do you want to taste it? You bet. Wow, very tasty. I don't like you messing up my room. Hey, Paul, would you like to play a racing game with me? We're going to have so much fun. Brian, look at the mess you've made. You've walked across my room in your dirty, muddy sneakers. Whoops, sorry. I didn't realize they were so muddy. Look at the muddy footprints you left on my carpet. It was an accident. I only came to ask you if you wanted to play a very cool game with me. Well, I don't. I have to study for my English test tomorrow. And next time, I'd sooner you took your shoes off before you walked into my room. Will do. No worries. So why are you in such a bad mood then? I spent hours tidying up my room and you spoiled it in a few seconds. Am I supposed to be happy about this? Look! I'm going to clean all this mess, I promise. Just give me a few minutes. Chill out. Your carpet is going to look brand new. I surely hope so. Don't take my laptop without asking. You took my laptop, Abigail? Sorry, David. I've only been using it for a few minutes. I was checking my email. It's no big deal. I'd rather you didn't take it without asking. I didn't take it. I found it here in the kitchen. I just put it down temporarily while I was talking on the phone with the classmate. You're always leaving your laptop hanging about somewhere. You should be more careful with it if it's so precious and if you don't want anyone to use it. Stop talking nonsense. Why aren't you using your own laptop anyway? Because I lost it. I left it in a cafe yesterday and haven't been able to find it since then. I think somebody stole it. And I'm the one who's not careful? Look who's talking. Yes, you're right. I wasn't careful enough. Well, sorry about your loss. I guess you can use my laptop whenever you need to. But please, be careful not to change or delete anything. Thanks, David. I promise to be careful. 